Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Light Platinum. In the last episode, we defeated the Normeek City Gym and got our 7th badge in the Lauren region. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Ironum City Gym and hopefully getting our final badge. So, I already know that's going to be Steel-type Gym, and I'm just going to switch my uh, Arcanine to the front of the party because it's Steel-type, and obviously Fire beats Steel. So, now that I've done that, there is really nothing in Ironum City apart from one thing you can grab, and if you've been playing the same way I've been playing you should have this item like three times already so you can come down here and grab this TM 23 which contains iron tail as I said I have it three times already so I have no real use for it I just thought I'd show that you can get it there and yeah now we're gonna head into the gym I think this could be very short which would be pretty good actually cuz I don't want to be waiting <laughs> waiting for a long time so let's just read the sign first Ironum City Pokemon gym leader Stella type, uh, type steel alright so let's head inside so, let's see what this guy says. Welcome to the Ironum City Gym. This The leader, Stella, uses steel Pokemon. Hint to use fire attacks. I already knew that, but whatever. So, this doesn't really have a gym puzzle. You just walk all the way to the end. You do have to take on trainers. But they're not challenging at all. They're all around level 50 and stuff. So, if your Pokemon are like mine, they're on level like 60. Nearly level 70, you should have no problem. So, this guy's a Steelix on level 56. And we're just going to go for a flamethrower on it and hopefully take it out and get to level 65, which is pretty sweet. So, flamethrower hits and it should take out Steelix. Steelix is not the best special defensively and yeah, we take it out. So, down goes that. And we get to level 65, which is awesome. Next Pokemon is going to be an Aggron. So, yeah, no problem here as well. Another Steel type. Though it's also a Rock type, but we should be able to do good damage with flamethrower and more than likely take it out because... Much like Steelix, it doesn't have the best special defense. It is very good physical defensively. I will give it that, but special defensively, it doesn't have good stats. So, Marcos is defeated, and we can move on to the next trainer in the gym, who is just up this way, that side there, that, I, that I'm not taking. just leads to a dead end, as you can see. And now we can take on this trainer. So, you're challenging the Steel Gym. I'll defeat you. Uh, no, you won't. I think it's funny how the uh, gym leader's name is Stella, which is sort of like, spelt like steel, sort of like an ant. Well, no, it's not, but it has an extra L instead of an E, and I'm just being dumb. Anyway, here is a Steelix again, level 56. We're just going to go for a flamethrower, and more than likely take it out. If we took out the first one, we can definitely take out this one, because they're on the same level, I think. And we take it out, no problem. So, down goes that. And... Now he has a Skarmory, or she has a Skarmory that is on level 56, so that will go down to a flamethrower as well because it's super effective and it should be a one shot kill. And we can move on again, and this gym is going to take me no time at all. This may be the record gym that I like totally destroy in no time at all. So down goes Camilla, and she says Stella's very strong, but we'll see when we get there, I guess. So yeah, this gym is really straightforward, very short. And I can't believe how quickly we've gotten through the Lauren region. I think I started the adventure in the Lauren region at episode 51 or something. Maybe 50. And I've only been here for like 12 episodes and I've gotten... My, I've got, I'm going for the 8th badge. It's just so much quicker compared to the Zeri region. I thought it would be much shorter. I thought it would be much, much longer than what it has been. But obviously I was mistaken. I know someone told me that... I did say to someone that I still have to do the whole other region, they're like, it doesn't really take that long, but I really did think it would take longer. So, Cesar also has an Empoleon, I don't know why he stayed in, it doesn't even matter really. I'll just go for a Fire Blow, which should take this thing out, it is a very powerful move. And, even though Empoleon is a Water type, it's also Steel, so this is going to be doing normal damage, and almost takes it out, and he goes for Fury Attack, when he could have, like, Hydro Punched me and really hurt my Arc of Flame, but... I guess he didn't want to do that, so I'm going to go for Rock Smash, which should take it out. It only needs a little bit of HP left, and down it goes. So, Empoleon is defeated, and we defeat Cesar, who is a scientist, who should have probably known that water beats fire, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're already here at the gym leader in 4 minutes 40 seconds, so yeah, this is very quickly, <laughs> quickly done, so let's take her on. Welcome to the last challenge of the Lauren League. I'm the leader of this gym, and you'll have to defeat my Steel Pokemon to move on. Alright, let's do this then. Let's do this, Stella. I'm going to beat you and get the 8th badge in no time at all. So, she has a Steelix on level 77. 
I'm pretty much just gonna rampage and go for a fire blow on all of these Pokemon which should take them all out and then that will be the gym badge achieved so fire blow hits and it takes out Steelix yes it does so down goes Steelix level 77 no problem next Pokemon is gonna be Agron again another Pokemon that isn't very uh, is not a big problem let's go for fire blow again and it should take it out or it should take it down to at least red HP and then I can finish it with rock smash so he's going for Iron Tail, not very effective. And it does do a decent amount for a not very well, not a decent amount, it does okay for a not very effective move. Rock Smash should finish it off. And that is the end of the level 77 Agron. Finally, we have her Metagross, and that is her last and signature Pokemon. It is on level 78. So let's go for Fire Blow. And because Metagross is totally weird in this game, even though it should be like ultra powerful. I expect it to go down to one fire blow, and that will pretty much be the gym badge gotten. Yes, there we go. So down goes Metagross. Stella's defeated. That is the eighth gym badge of Lauren achieved, and we are pretty much ready for the Lauren League. I see you have an extra extraordinary potential. I do indeed. I went through the Lauren region in no time at all. Now you can face Lauren's Elite Four because you've earned the eight badges of the Lauren League. Here's the final badge. So, after defeating Stella, we get ourselves the Iron Badge. With the Iron Badge, you can use Whirlpool outside of battle and pass little whirlpools and oceans or lakes to reach inaccessible places. And we get TM12, which I'm going to assume is Whirlpool because I haven't got the TM for that yet. This contains Whirlpool, an attack that can be used to stop whirlpools that block your path. Good luck on your Lauren League challenge. Our Elite Four is one of the most powerful in the world. Whatever you say, Stella, I think I'm going to... Well, yeah, maybe they are powerful. I might have to do some grinding, though. I think I'm on a decent level. I should be able to get through there pretty good on the levels I have. I do have a level 70 Electivire. Even though that doesn't really mean anything unless there's like a water type guy in there or a flying guy. Anyway, now that we've gotten the last gym badge, we're going to head back to Carmen Town. And that'll probably wrap up the episode. So, what I have to do is head to the Pokemon Center and grab Flyer the Talo. And we can pretty much get set for the victory road. I'll probably make it the same way I made the last victory road, this area, uh, victory road by splitting it up into two parts. So let me just grab that, and I'm gonna swap out Scorpio. And Scorpio won't even be used in the uh, in the victory ro in victory road because I have no real use for. It. I'm just gonna switch Giratina into a separate box for like legendary Pokemon. So there we go. Box 2 is going to be for all the legendary Pokemon because I have to catch a load of those after I defeat the Lauren League. So it's not over when I defeat the Lauren League. I still have a lot of a lot of stuff to do. So, we're going to leave Arnhem City. It was very, very short-lived trip because we got out of here pretty quickly. So, we're going to head to Carmen Town. And that is the only place of the Pokemon Center that is near the Elite Four. So, I need to swap. We're near Frictory Road. I need to swap. Uh, I need to get my Surf Slave ready, because she has a, well, I don't know if it's he or she. Goldene always looks like a girl, but it could be a boy, let me just check. It's a girl. Surf Slave is a girl. I need to teach it Water Pool as well, or World Water Pool, Whirlpool as well, so I can uh, take out, well, I can get rid of those Whirlpools along the way, because I don't want to teach it too elegance. So, let's just get to doing that now. Go to the back, TM's pocket, and it was TM12. So, Whirlpool will teach that to Surf Slave, and I'm just going to get rid of, I think, Corn Attack is the only attack it has left. Yep, it has all water moves now, because it's a water type. And I need to heal up. I didn't even notice that arc. I, I, have, I have a potion, I guess, but I'll heal up anyway. So, back into the Pokemon Center, for good time's sake. And we'll talk to Miss Nurse Joy, and get healed up. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll just head down, I'll head down to Yellowtown, I think it was called, and we'll leave it at that. And then we'll, in the next episode, I'll head to Victory Road. So, yeah, I'm totally rambling now because I've run out of things to say. I didn't expect the gym to go so easily. I really expect to be st still battling the gym, and I forgot this item. TM32, I believe that is, uh, wow, I don't want to guess. It's, don't tell me it's Iron Tail again. That was 23. That's it's not Iron Tail again. I know that, but it is Double Team. I probably should have known that. 
Double team, a move I despise. Anyway, I'm back in Sundertown. I don't know why I called it Yellowtown. Actually, Yellowtown is the first town in uh, the Zeri region, but it doesn't matter. So, in the next episode, we're going to be heading down here towards the Lorne Victory Road. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for more shortly enough. Catch you then.